Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another account run through from myself, Michael. I'm a member of the PAL team. And for those that don't know PAL, we are the algo trading specialists. You know, no one does what we do. Well, they might do, but they don't give you the support education. They don't give you the coaching. They don't give you the things that you need to succeed in the algorithmic trading space. But that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to sell you on why you should be a member of PAL. I'm here to talk you through my master accounts. I'm here to talk you through my process, what I do to set up my master accounts. You know, anything that I think will help you, I'm going to share today. Hopefully you gain some insight from this, some valuable insights to improve your own trading. You know, if you're an algorithmic trader, hopefully this will help. If you're a member of PAL, hopefully this will help you too. So let's dive into it. I'm going to talk you through my gold only master account to start with. So this master account, as you can see, really nice equity curve. I've been running it since the 30th of June with no dramas at all. I haven't seen the drawdown go above maybe two or three percent. That might be wrong. I might have been asleep when there's been drawdown open. I'm not too sure. But every time I look at the screen, it is completely flat because these trades are in and out um, in no time at all. The trade duration is very, very low. Um, and as you can see, I've done nearly 12% in what, where are we? 20th of, what's the date today? 21st of October. So nearly 12K in three and a half months. So not too bad at all. Um, we always say that, you know, when you join PAL, we teach you a process to bank, bank anywhere between two and 4% a month. And this is proof that that can happen. Um, and this is literally just running two set files. You know, when you join PAL, or if you are a member of PAL, you know that we have the ability to run as many set files as we want. We can cover all different strategies. We could we could run a hundred set files if we really, really wanted to on one account um, and be completely diversified. But sometimes keeping it simple is the best way forward. Um, and that's what I found. I really like to keep things simple. Don't get me wrong. I have master accounts that are running, you know, 10, 20, 30 set files. But my favorite master accounts are master accounts like this because it's really easy to track. It's really easy to review the data. Um, and yeah, the results just speak for themselves. So three and a half months, nearly 2000 trades and split into long and short. So two set files, one long, one short. Yeah. Both of those set files were taken from different master accounts. Now the short set file was taken from my double confidence master account, which is right here. Um, those of you that have watched my account run throughs before, you'll know this master account really well. Um, and it's pretty solid, but I'll talk through that in a little bit. I took the gold short only set file from that master account and I decided to put it onto its own master account so that I could track the performance. Um, cause I noticed that that was the best performing set file out of, you know, 20 or 30 different set files. Um, then I needed a long set file to go with it. So I found a long, long only set file on one of my other master accounts that have been performing really, really well. And I decided to just put them together. Um, and that's how this master account was created. So the long only set file is capped at one lot, um, which, you know, usually if I'm running that on gold, sometimes I might hold back a bit. I might you know, try and stick to a little bit of a lower lot size because I don't want the trades to get out of hand. I don't want to be overexposed. But with this set file, it only opens like one, maybe two, three trades at a time. And it's in and out the market in no time at all. Um, and it's hardly ever, ever, ever open. It just banks little bits of profit as we go along. But as you can see, the profits add up. So um, that's the long only set file. The short only set file is capped at 0 0.1 lots. Um, it's a lot more, it's a lot more busy, let's say. There's a lot more trades open. Not all the time, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not too overly fussed about the trade volume on that set file, but it is a lot more busy than the fixed lot set file that I've got running and it banks a lot of profit. And these two just seem to work really, really well together. Now, because I've got this data, three and a half months worth of data, I can decide what I want to do with this data. So I could copy this over to, you know, if I wanted to copy this over to a personal account, I could do without no dramas whatsoever. 
I could copy it over to a sent account. I could copy it over to, you know, a challenge, a funded account, whatever it may be. I could scale it up. I could scale it down. You know, I haven't seen too much drawdown on this. Um, and I, I, yeah, it's just one of my favorites um, accounts. I really, really like it. I'm going to keep this running all the way up until the end of the year and beyond. If the set files go into a lot of drawdown, then I might re-optimize. But right now, I don't need to re-optimize anything um, because, yeah, the, the results just speak for themselves. So moving on. This is a gold cent master account. So this is copying over to a cent account. Um, it's been running since the 22nd of August. So once again, this is just running gold only. This is two set files and they are both running an RSI approach. Um, I believe yeah, off the top of my head, these are running just an RSI approach. Um, but as you can see, I mean, ne nearly doubled the account in what? Two months. So 75% in two months. The drawdown I've probably seen, I think the highest I've seen was maybe around 30%, um, but I could be wrong. I could scale this down and copy this into a challenge if I really, really wanted to and probably get decent results. It's had 461 trades so far. We've done, I mean, nearly 40% in September. Um, we've done nearly 20% in October and we've still got some time left. So. This performs really well. Don't get me wrong, it's really quite aggressive. Um, when it opens trades, it opens trades. Let's just put it that way. The lots build up. Um, I wouldn't be comfortable running this on Live Capital personally, but I'm comfortable in running it on a cent account because the cent account has a lot higher leverage. I think the leverage on my cent account is like a thousand to one. Um, and it can handle the lot sizes when they build up. So as you can see, I capped the lot size at five lots. But if you've got multiple trades in the sequence and they open um, on normal leverage size, you're going to be pretty screwed. Probably going to you know, hit your margin or get a margin call and so on. But running it on a cent account, it seems to work really, really well. So yeah, pretty, pretty good cent account, um, if I'm honest. You know, nearly 100% in two months. Can't complain at all. Once again, going to keep running this all the way up until the end of the year. And um, the main reason why I started this account is because I wanted something that was a little bit more aggressive than all my other cent account approaches. Um, and I found these two uh, gold set files, once again, split into long and short, and just decided to run with it. You know, sometimes things don't play out. Sometimes, you know, many times I've started you know done my back back testing put the set files onto a master account started the accounts and you know maybe they don't perform as i expected or maybe the drawdown was way too high or maybe i don't know something goes wrong for example that wasn't the case with this i decided to let it run even though it went into drawdown quite early on most people when they see drawdown might panic and think that the set file doesn't work or you know Maybe I'll redo it and re-optimize. You don't need to do that. Just let it run. Let it run in the live live market. Build your data, um, and then decide later on down the line what you want to do to do with it um, with all that data. Okay, so that is a little cent account approach that I'm running. For those that don't know what a cent account is, a cent account is just an account where if I put one k in, I will be trading a hundred k cent. So you can trade it like a normal prop firm account. A um, really good way to leverage live capital um, and small, small amounts of capital. Okay. Anyways, moving on to this beast of an account, the double confluence account. So, once again, for those that have watched my master account run through before, you'll know this um, master account really well. So, this double confluence account is running a higher time frame EMA and a lower time frame ADX. Okay, and this is running about 25 to 30 set files, all split into long and short. Um, I'm running most of the major pairs, as you can see here. Gold, UJ, UCAD, GU, GCAD, EU. Okay, the most profitable set file was the gold short only set file, which I put onto the gold only master account. Okay, it has been running 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months now since the 15th of April. This account was originally created for a 300k um, prop account. Uh, two prop accounts, should I say? So I was running this on um, two 300k accounts, hence why the balance is so high. Um, but still, we've done 124k since the 15th of April, um, which is you know unbelievable. Now, don't get me wrong; I've seen high drawdown with this account. I've seen the drawdown go to 20, 30k at times. Not many times, maybe four or five times I've seen it go past 20k. But when, when it does that, I usually bulk copy the positions over into challenges or um, live capital and bank the reversal and bank a load of profit. Um, so I'm not too worried about the drawdown. Also, I don't copy this at 100% lock multiplier. Because I've seen the drawdown go into you know, 20, 30k, I know that I can't do that if I'm copying over to challenges or funded accounts, you know, I'm probably going to blow the challenge, hit my EP, et cetera, et cetera. So I copy over at like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 lot multiplier. Um, and then I know I can stay within the rules, keep the drawdown to a minimum and still bank decent profit because we banked 124 K since the 15th of April. So even if I, you know, use a third of that still going to be a healthy amount of profit. So we've done, 14,671 trades. Crazy, crazy amount of trades. Um, but yeah, once again, the results speak for themselves. You know, nearly doing 9% in its first month in April, 7.5% in May. Um, then in June, I made some changes because I noticed that some of the set files that I was using were opening way too many trades in a sequence. Um, and the lot sizes were like building up and, and leaving me overexposed. So I didn't want to go through that. I didn't want to feel stressed. It was causing me a little bit of stress and anxiety. So I decided to either remove those set files completely or just lower the lot sizes to something more sensible and then continued with all the same um, set files that were running from August and banked nearly 8% in July. Once again, most of it coming from the gold only set file. Three and a half percent in August. Um, I can't remember if I had made changes there or if that was just because of the summer months. That it was a little less um, profit being banked. But anyways, can't complain because in September, seven and a half percent and nearly three percent in October. So performing really, really well. Um, it is a very, very aggressive account. Very, very busy. It's always got trades open. I never see it flat, but that's okay because, like I said, I never copy over at one hundred percent lot multiplier. Now, the key thing here, the key, the key thing to take from this, is that just continue to run your set files in the live market and let them run. I've been running this for nearly seven months, or I have been running running it for seven months, um, coming up to eight months. And just because it's gone into drawdown doesn't mean that the account is, you know, shit or I should throw it all away. You know, I've got all this data now. I've got eight months worth of data to be able to make, you know, informed good decisions. If I didn't have that data and I didn't let it do its thing, then I'd never earn the right to make those decisions. And that's the key thing here. You need to just let things run, let things play out. Then later on down the line, you're going to be in a much better position to make better decisions. Most people, like if their accounts don't go the way that they wanted to or they don't perform the way that they wanted to, then they usually scrap the account or re-optimize or think that things don't work. And that's not usually the case. So many times I've done my back testing, loaded up my, my set files and my accounts, and you know, the first day going to drawdown, first day hit an EP. Now, if I go and scrap it all, then I've wasted all that time back testing and going through it all. It's a complete waste of my time. So I just let it play out. I let it play out so many times. I hit an EP and it goes on to perform really well over the next few months. But yeah, you just need to start letting things play out. Build your data. Once you have that data, you're going to build your confidence. Once you have confidence, you can make better decisions. So I am copying this over to a Darwin X account which is this beast. My Darwin X has done 
five consecutive months of um, capital allocation. So I'm up to 150K in capital on Darwin X, um, earned a little bit in performance fees, which is paying for the uh, membership of Darwin X. Those that don't know Darwin X, check it out. You know, great way to build your track record. And in the future, play the long game with it because in the future you can attract investors and so on and so on. Or you can use it for your own um, investor and use it to attract your own investors. Don't necessarily have to do it through Darwin. Now, as you can see, I I took a little bit of a loss here and I'm going to explain that. So I, I was copying the double compliments account in here, right? For the from the 27th of March up until around about the 5th of June, I was copying from double confluence. Now, this is what happens when you don't let your accounts play out. The double confluence account went into drawdown. So did my Darwin X, and I panicked because I didn't have confident confidence in what I was running. I didn't have the confidence in in my approach. So. I panicked and I changed my approach, which I never ever do. I didn't listen to the thoughts in my head. I decided to go against them and I changed my approach. And what happened was, don't get me wrong, this is really nice and steady here. Um, still bank decent amount of profit. I mean, from the 5th of June till the 10th of June, we've done, what's that, nearly 3% maybe? But one thing I noticed is my Darwin X score was going down and I wasn't in the capital allocation rating to, to receive another months of capital allocation. And you have to keep them months consecutive, otherwise you lose your capital allocation, I believe. Could be wrong there, but I think that's right. So I decided to close all the positions down because I went into drawdown on this second account that I was copying over from. I decided to close all the positions down and restart. I bulk copied my double confluence master account because that was in drawdown. I bulk copied, banked some profit. My rating on Darwin X went back up. Um, I've managed to get myself back into the capital allocation rating, received capital and just stuck with that double confluence account ever since. And as you can see, made back the, uh, made back the loss that I that I took within, where were we? So 11th of June, 26th of September. It was like just over three months it took me to make that back. That's okay, because it's not a prop firm. Um, and yeah, as you can see, banked 32.89%. So nearly 33% since the 27th of March. And that's copying over a 0.2 lot multiplier. As you can see, 9,295 trades on this account. Again, very aggressive. There you can see the loss that I took, which was um, self-inflicted. Started off banking really, really well from the double confidence account, then lowered the lot multiplier. And yeah, it just plays out very, very nicely. Banking in between, you know, three and maybe five or 6% and done 2% in October so far. So this performs really, really well. Um, and yeah, Darwin X is, is, uh, is something to look into, that's for sure. Play the long game. And the final master account that I wanna talk you through today is a master account that I set up recently. Um, this is, again, running um, a variation of double confluence. So one thing I've realized recently is like, if something's working on, on a, a, if there's an approach that's working really well for you, let's say, you don't have to go and reinvent the wheel and try and create a new approach that, you know, trades a different way and works completely different to that approach. You, you could just literally use that same approach because you know that it works really, really well. And you could just modify it slightly just to dive up to, to diversify it. So what I decided to do was I took the double compliments idea and I decided that on my original double compliments master account, um, Bankery A opens big sequences. So those set files were tested with the, the max trades set to like 99. So let's say the set file goes into drawdown, it will keep opening trades, you know, and you could be 10, 15, 20 trades deep in a sequence 
Um, not often, but it can happen. So I decided, why don't I try and make a master account that is capped at five trades max? So all the set files are set to five trades max. So if they open trades in a sequence, it won't go above five trades. It will just it will it will pause the trades and keep them open until we get a reversal, and then it banks in profit. But stuck to the double confluence um, idea, and um, we've banked yeah nearly eight percent since the twenty seventh of August. So what are we? That's like a month and a half, 8%. Once again, sticking to the 2 to 4% a month that we recommend or that we say is possible inside PAL. Um, when you follow our process, when you practice what we preach, what we teach, should I say. Now, off the top of my head, what happened here was, so judging from the data, let's have a little look. So, UJ, yeah, so what happened here was UJ and off the top of my head, what happened here was the UJ set file, let's have a little look, might have been causing me stress or maybe the lot sizes are too big or something along those lines and I decided to remove that set file altogether. I think it was in drawdown. I was like, I just want to get rid of this. I didn't like how it was performing. Um, but then let the, let, let, let the, uh, let the rest of the set files and the account play out. Um, so if I hadn't have taken that loss, maybe we would be closer to maybe 9% maybe, or, you know, what are we? Yeah. Might've been maybe just above 8%, eight and a half percent. But it is what it is, you know, it's performing really, really well. I really like how it's performing so far. I mean, it's, on, it's done 873 trades in a month and a half. We're running quite a lot of, um, of pairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs, all split into long and short, all capped at five trades. So 20 set files all together, all trading double confluence, um, hardly ever open. I'll check it right now whilst we're on the screen. Let's have a little look. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, a little bit of drawdown, $324 today in drawdown is banked, $375 in profit um, for today. It banks really, really well. You know, the set file, because it's because the account is um, capped at five trades max, what I've noticed is, it, it kind of saves the account from going into deep drawdown. So let's say price goes against you. Um, if it wasn't capped at five trades max, you'd probably go into deep drawdown. But because it is capped at five trades max, it saves it from going into deep drawdown. The trades might stay open for a little bit longer, but when we get a reversal, it banks and it banks in profit. So yeah, nice little approach, really enjoying it so far. I'm just going to let it play out for the next month and a half up until the end of the year, um, maybe longer. I'll see how it performs. If it continues to perform really well, then I won't re-optimize. If I see some set files go into deep drawdown or maybe they're not banking enough profit and they're not worth keeping, then I might re remove them or re-optimize them. But for the moment, just going to keep it running um, because I really like how it's performing so far. So there we go. That is my account run through for today. Five accounts. Um, hope you gained some insight. Hope it was valuable for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're not a member of PAL, you're missing out.